sold out TD Garden as we kick off our doubleheader with the Celtics hosting the New York Knicks. The Celtic fans might be a bit distracted this week. What's as going on with a trading deadline just over a week away? That fans always hope will be an active trading deadline. Rebound goes to Jarrett Jack. Without Kyrie Irving, one of the leading scorers in the NBA, Porzingis leans into the three and knocks it down. So he's already outscored himself for the first 90 seconds of this one. Rozier sets and knocks it down. Terry Rozier. Well, certainly the Celtics have had to deal with injuries, starting with the first game as Porzingis already two for two is another board. Jalen Brown. A three. He's their second leading scorer, and without mercifully, they're as good as it gets in the lead. Lee went for the steal. Brown gets the dunk. Jarrett Jack to Cantor. Cantor spins left hand and banks it in. Coming off the floor. He said he was pretending to be Magic Johnson as he had a career high five assists, leading a couple of fast breaks. Rozier steps back and knocks down another. Three. Brad Stevens, an enormous fan of Terry Rozier. He's had that nice development each season in the league. Porzingis, uh, pretty sweet relationship he was in, had him upset. He was on the phone and, and lost control, said he was embarrassed and apologized to his team. Another three pointer. Defending the three. They've been an excellent offensive team in a recent stretch. Rozier gets inside, and Terry Rozier is doing candid. Without Smart, without Irvin. Lance Thomas just in the game misses. Cantor, the offensive rebound, goes back up and banks it home again. Besides Tatum, more minutes than I think many expected. Horford spins, and a shot is good. Al Horford has been down this season. Shot clock winding down. Villaquino wide open for three. That's good. He's outside. Scoring 20 points against Denver. The victory on the road against the Nuggets. And thrills that one. I think. Has Horford on him. Villaquino, nice drive to the basket. Left hand, a gorgeous move from Villaquino. Well, there's the aggression. Five to shoot. Beasley against Moore. Single coverage. Beasley stops, pulls up. Jump shot is good. Well, he really in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Maybe even get him to the other side, then throw it in, we'll have a better chance. Thank you, Jeff. Mike. Meanwhile, Jalen Brown. To the trade deadline, which is February 8th, which is next Thursday, you know, they sent him away after a practice. Kind of teams. Cleveland has remained really interested in DeAndre Jordan, Milwaukee. Uh, and the, the part of their ability to get into a rebuild post-LeBron. A very difficult situation to be in as Porzingis knocks that down. He, he was in Indiana getting ready for their game, warming up. They pulled him off the court, essentially. Oh, Brown throws it down. And Jalen Brown getting the crowd fired up. We'll be back with more with Adrian when we return. Celtics start for them to do deals because they can't give somebody um, a pick to bring in a veteran who can help them. You know, they, they would love maybe a backup center who can help them, and they're in a tough spot there to have the assets to add to their team, although they're, they're, in, uh, they're in discussions with a few teams on weak players, uh, but they don't have many tradable. They're, they're in a tough position to have the kind of uh, assets that people want to give them a, a quality player and and Washington I'm gonna ask you about the Lakers because obviously we've heard so much about the summer and what they're doing and who they might anticipate signing so much conversation Clarkson's a good player and teams look at his salary and say how much do we want to give up for him and are we gonna give Clarkson a lot of teams um, but Luol Deng's contract is similar to Joe King Noah it's untradeable and, and that makes it difficult he struggles from three recently. Hardaway, nice move, drive, left-handed layup is good. And that's... Some Tatum out of the gates. We had a couple in the first half for the Celtics. Pass inside to Baines. Baines hook misses. Rozier. Rozier in his first NBA start here in his third season. Cantor misses. Cantor hits. Offensive rebound. Got to come out and play hard to start this half. Porzingis the rebound and throws it away. Baines and open. And those. Porzingis sets, fires. Canter, another offensive rebound and put back. He is just a beast on the ball. Knicks beat Brooklyn at Madison Square Garden. 
As Horford steps back, and there's the seventh lead. And, and for me, it started with my coaches and um, actually some former GMs encouraging me. Uh, it became, uh, I became more, more confident in it, and now I'm in a position that I feel good about it. Well, he's shooting. Jack drives right at Baines, misses, and Tanner right there for the tip. And as we mentioned, he had the 20 rebounds last night as well. Horford goes right at Tanner, gets inside, and an easy cut to Brown. Excellent rebounder for a guard. He's got eight boards to go along with 13 points. Tatum on a pull-up. Sweet jumper there for the 19. I don't know that Rozier, can he get four more assists? Because he's now got nine rebounds, Mike. He's cooking. This kid is cooking. Now they switch again. Brown goes on Hardaway. Brown goes inside. Blocked by Porzingis. Jalen Brown was leading the transition opportunity. <laughs> Mr. Porzingis says, no, sir. Nothing doing in this one. Entire series. Morris knocks down the three. Spins, gets inside, short shot is good. Lee is in guarding Trey Burke. Doug McDermott, Kyle O'Quinn of Vermont Athletics. Beasley gets it, Beasley inside, and lays it in. Burke has it. All right, he figured out, okay, I'm going to get to my spots. I mean, he wore people out at that free throw line, right? Beasley with a beauty right hand to shut off Burke. Beasley mishandles, picked up by Morris. Burke tried to steal it. Oh, oh Morris goes down hard. We find out here. Ooh, that hurts. No Kyrie Irving, no Marcus Smart tonight. And Rogier, we saw he has nine rebounds. As later hits the three. But earlier, Doris, the Knicks have to do a better job when those mismatches get Porzingis in a, into good places to be able to take advantage on the Celtics. Pulling up. Rogier up top to Tatum. Tatum. Whoa. He made that so difficult. Well, Anthony being traded, being the focus of every opponent's defense night in and night out. A learning experience is Tatum. Rogier throws it up. Tice throws it down. And Rogier with the defense from Lance Thomas, a fellow Dookie. Tatum tries again. Pull up jumper. Boy, that is smooth. Milikina inside, throws it up top to Thomas. Shot clock down to four. Damian Dotson, nice move, drive to the basket, and finally the Knicks score. The Dean Allen, as you mentioned, the second round pick out of Arizona. Pass inside, Tyson Nader. Came in Denver with a holding their breath on a final shot that could have won it from the Nuggets. Nader with seven to shoot. Nader drives, shot is good, everybody throwing it in. Oh, a sad day today for the NBA. Mike, I covered him in college. I love watching that guy play. And Rogier, what a performance in his first NBA start. Had his first NBA triple-double, a career-high 11 rebounds, a career-high 10 assists. And the Celtics with a blowout win to increase their Eastern Conference leading record to 37-15. and 15. They also snapped a three-game home losing streak. They're now 19-8 and eight here at home. The Knicks, meanwhile, fall to 